That's right. I'm actually here on time for once. For the first time ever, I'm doing a One Punch Man live reaction on the same day the chapter is released on Viz. I'm actually on time. And yes, I know I just uh, I just uploaded my most recent One Punch Man live reaction. But uh, here we are again with the next chapter because it's that important. Garo and Saitama have crossed paths. This deserves to be of the highest priority. And... Man, we're starting this chapter off great with this beautiful cover of like this this image of like an eye mixed with like like a black hole kind of or in like the moon also it's like a three way it's like it's like one of blast portals an eyeball and the moon which Saitama put a dent in and it's just like all just this beautiful image over Saitama and Garl just like staring each other down in the shallow waters of the ocean. Uh, the chapter is titled Source of Anxiety. Oh boy, I don't know, man, I didn't know I didn't know Garl dealt with anxiety. That's a really serious issue. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you, you probably will have some anxiety while fighting Saitama. But uh yes, so so yeah, Garl's just thinking uh the class S heroes uh who were knocked out back then haven't uh, reappeared despite the circumstances. That must mean they're done for. I will perfect absolute evil, for I have completed my own style. You just see his fist, like, emanating, like, chi and power. There is no longer anything to fear! Or there shouldn't be. But I don't feel relieved. I feel as if I've overlooked a massive source of anxiety title. But I can't recall what it is. Oh boy, I think I might know what it is. Okay, so I think we're getting a little peer into the past. Like the moments right before Saitama landed next to Garo in the last chapter. Because that, that we're back to him saying, uh, him thinking again. Uh, huh, come to think of it. Uh, what happened to the ocean monster? And you see Saitama just dropping out of the sky. And we just get that, that statement that Saitama said at the end of the last chapter. What are you? And the girl goes, huh? Who are you? It's just this beautiful double page of just the two of them just staring across at each other. The, the beautiful background. And the like the, the reflection of like the, the, the sun or the moon on, on the water. Gar says, "What am I?" He's thinking, "Is he some piddle, uh, is he some piddling hero on rescue duty?" You just see Saitama with his trademark blank stare. It's just, just like light shining off of his bald head as he's just like staring at Garo. Garo's just like, and he's thinking, he's remembering, "Obey the voice in your heart." And he goes, "Sorry, old man." But I will do what only I can do. He says to Saitama, I am the monster Garo. I will cast all of humanity into the depths of despair and become absolute evil. You just see this beautiful image of Garo. It is, it's, just, it's cool, like, bio-armor monster body with the, the, the cracks emanating energy. And Garl's just flashing back to all of his, all these memories of like, uh, like little uh, Tario getting picked on by the bullies and little Garl getting picked on by bullies when he was a kid. And he's, he's thinking, I will teach, oh, no, I guess he's saying it out loud. Uh, he, 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 no, he continues, I will teach the whole world of the pain that heroes never deign to notice. So that, now this is giving me vibes of, uh, like the villains from My Hero Academia who are just like, they resent the heroes of the world, like, like turning a blind eye to like the little guys, like the little, the kids who get like, like, who have like terrible situations and like, they don't bother to help them and stuff. It's just like the, the injustice of like small things, not just fighting big villains, but the smaller things that get overlooked. And, and Saitama goes, absolutely evil. So you're bad, but you saved the helicopter from the centipede. You split it in half. 
uh, with a hand chop. The girl's thinking, who is this guy? He was watching? And he just smirks and goes, <laughs> absolute evil is absolute strength. I need witnesses to spread fear. So I show that I'm stronger than both monsters and heroes. And I was thinking back to when he was uh, protecting Tyrell from, uh, from Death Gatling's gunfire. He, he goes, he was, watch now, as a monster is victorious. So I was just still staring at him, like, hmm? And Garl goes, uh, and Garl says, got that? Now get lost and go find a new job. Tonight I'm going to waste both the Monster Association and the Hero Association. So yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. No one would suspect Saitama was a badass just by looking at him, but Garl's no different. So he just thinks he's a scrub who needs to get lost. The whole world will see that resistance is futile. The remaining heroes will either surrender or oppose me and get crushed. I think you see like an image of like of the Hero Association headquarters getting like split down the middle, like girl like chops it in half or something. And like uh, so <laughs> that's a, yeah, I guess that's what Garl is planning on doing. <laughs> and the Saitama just goes, oh, okay. Uh, if you aren't a monster, I'm out of here. <laughs> Garl's like, hmm? Weren't you listening? And Saitama goes, uh, you don't seem like a monster. Uh, so what's there for me to do? <laughs> and then Carl's just like, he just takes, he's taking that all in. He's just like, Huh? Whoa! It's like Thomas' eyes suddenly start getting like like bloodshot. Uh, he's, and he says, uh, "I stepped out to complain about the noise, uh, but my house got destroyed. Now I gotta go looking for my stuff, like a like I'm clam digging. I'm so ticked that I could destroy the world." <laughs> oh, wow! I have I've never seen this side of Saitama, and I think that's a good thing, because he, he could very well destroy the world if he wanted to. Oh, the girl just feels the like like the pressure, like he's like like he's like sensing the malice and the power behind Saitama's words, like see, seeing that part, of, seeing that side of Saitama. It's not something many people have seen, like an honest emotional reaction, or at least close to an emotional reaction. If that power just like conquers hockey, almost just like whoa. Saitama goes, uh, I thought kicking the Monster King's butt would blow some steam off. And notice your appearance and strength, but it doesn't seem like you're him. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Saitama still doesn't even realize that. He's already killed the king of the monsters. Like, he, that was just like whatever to him. <laughs> Damn, that's messed up, man. Damn, poor monster king of Rochi. Got, get no respect. Uh, you could play at being a monster or a hero, uh, but don't overdo it. See ya. <laughs> he's just he's leaving. And so uh, Garl goes, uh, what was that pressure I just felt? Who is that guy? I feel like I've seen him before. Uh, no, it doesn't matter who he is. Hey! Don't you understand? You'll pay if you blow off absolute evil. He just clenches his fist. Oh, boy. Here we go. Mortal Kombat! Alright, girl. You're signing your check. Your body can't cash. He, he launches towards Saitama with his fist clenched. Thinking, I'll leave you alive, but broken. He says out loud, so no hard feelings, okay? <laughs> Saitama just basically backhands Garl. Even, even Monster Garl, with all of his power that we've seen, makes no difference to Saitama. Just one little, like, Barely paying attention, punch. And Garl just goes flying. <laughs> and Saitama goes, whoops. <laughs> He's just like, 
Garl's just like flipping over and over again from the force. He's just like a rag doll. Saitama <laughs> Sai Sai goes, sorry, you shouldn't have rushed in like that. <laughs> Garl's just like completely confused at what just happened. Oh my god. And now it's all coming back to Garl with that one hit. All the times he has crossed paths with Saitama without either of them thinking much about it. He's just like... He's just thinking back to all the times Saitama just bitched him out. And he's just and now he's thinking... This guy... I remember now. He's the super strong bald guy I keep running into. He's still flipping and twisting around in the air. Hmm? Garl rings a bell. And Garl's just thinking, I can't believe it. I completely forgot about the one opponent I should have prioritized above all. It looks like, I guess we just end the chapter with a panel of like the people or like the helicopter that like crashed or whatever. And, like, is that... Yeah, I can't tell. I, th I think that's Saitama like running up to them. I can't tell though. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. that's the end of the chapter, right there. <laughs> so, oh boy, that was a short fight. No, I'm just playing. I'm sure. I'm sure Garl's gonna get back up and uh, give it a little more of a harder try than that. But uh, we all know what the result is gonna be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll have to see you next time. Uh, and I'll try to be on time for the next chapter, too. I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to Wednesday. Wednesday is usually the, when Viz releases a new One Punch Man chapter, so I'll keep an eye out on Wednesdays from now on. But, uh, yeah, so that was the end of the chapter, and, uh, hope you enjoyed my live reaction. But, yes, Pirate Star Jutsu, signing out. <laughs> <laughs>